welcome back to my channel so this is me reporting like this is my study permits application updates so yesterday was 15th of august day 16th so i, I was at work and next thing i got an email like hmm a prompt to check my um, CIC.GC blah 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 website sorry portal to check that, <laughs> that I have a new message there <clears throat> that so I ran home because where I work is very close to the house I ran to the house next thing <clears throat> opened the laptop sharp sharp put my password god my hands were shaking I was like what's good hope it's not rejection hope it's not rejection just in the word of prayer just say the word of prayer. After saying the word of prayer, I opened, I put in my password, my username, opened. Da da da. Next night I saw the message. I saw original passport request. I was like, eh? I opened it. I was like, Jesus, is this you? Jesus, is this you? I thought I wasn't recording. Jesus, is this you? So I opened it. I was like, hey, so this thing I bring up is you. So this is true. Like, I'm finally here. And the fact that I even deferred my admission like a few days ago, I deferred, um, my school asked me to defer before the 8th of August, so I deferred some, I deferred like a few days before 8th of August. So, I deferred my admission, I was supposed to start this fall, but because of the defer, I'm going to be starting in January next year. So guys, this is the letter that, I already printed it out, I'm going to be sending it couple with other documents to the VFS office for my original passport for stamping. This is it here. Dear Chagosim Julian Ezigwe. This is a reference to your application for temporary residence in the in the sorry. A decision has been made on your application. We request your passport. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. <clears throat> Today I'm so happy. Today's date is today's date is 26th of August 2022 and I promised myself that if I get an approval or if I get any gist I was going to come back here and I was going to record it so ta-da DHL came so DHL came today came to drop my passport so if you guys hear any noise in the background it's my nephews they are playing in the living room so just ignore the noise and concentrate on the good news on the good news right now so the hl came today i was at work so they brought this beauty here so we are going to be opening it i've not opened it it's still sealed as you can see it's still very much sealed so i'm going to like place my phone somewhere and we'll open it together and you know unravel this good news shall we this is the stuff that the hl sent they called me yesterday and they told me that my passport, VFS called me yesterday to tell me that my passport is ready, that um, I could come and pick it up by myself. But since when I, when I wanted to send my passport, I paid for to and fro. So there was no need for me to go there. So I told them that I already paid DHL to bring it back. So I didn't go there to pick it up myself. So they sent DHL to bring it to my house, the address I registered when I was sending my passport. So that aside. So... My name is at the back of the parcel, Chiagosim, Ezebe, Julian. My phone number and all those good stuff. So I have a scissors here. So let's open it. I've opened it. Um, there's an empty envelope. There's nothing inside it. Then. All the other documents I sent, like when I was sending my passport, I sent it with other documents. So, yeah, the documents I signed, the consent form, um, the VFS global, the courier, the SMS alerts form, like you know, all that. Then this paper was. Given to me when I went to do my biometric. This was like my, this was this is my biometrics collection slip. Yeah. So I included it when I sent my passport to VFS. Okay. So I included it in it. Then in here is the good news. 
because guys i feel like crying but i'm not going to cry i'm not going to cry i'm just going to open this like you know first one that god has blessed okay i'm going to open this right now so we open it together okay look at this here uh, let me i don't know what i'm covering but you guys can just see canada on top right you guys can just see canada on top i don't know every other detail is best now so yeah here's my passport here's my stamped passport hey guys this is me this is i this is akwazi i've been through a lot like i don't even know where to start from i think this actually deserves like a sit down video of everything i've been through in this whole jabba process in this whole traveling to canada to school process and honestly it's very very devastating i just don't wish anyone to have to travel all of a sudden because it's such a tedious process honestly so i paid my agent money to help me out. I, I paid an agent that i was connected to to book an agent to book <laughs> to book my flight for me right so and now you know i sent the money i thought he was going to book it online the guy did not relate to me that he was going to book the flights he has to go like go to the qatar airways and book the flights i was waiting and waiting and waiting when i before i sent the money so he said that he already scheduled the flights and he has till um he has till monday 12 pm to pay for the to pay for the flight and all that so i sent him money the flight was quite cheap not like cheap cheap but it was if i had booked it would have been cheaper but since it's like a rush rush flight at least it's affordable compared to other airlines that's like the cheapest flights i saw that like the cheapest i saw then i went for it so fast forward to um today i went to the bank to do some things and you know it was already to 12 and i called him like i've not gotten any notification from qatar airways that he has booked my flight so what's up what do we do like i said calling this guy his phone was switched off that was when my actor like actor is frustration that was when actor did the with the world with him first so let me continue making the video here i got interrupted inside the house so that was when my frustration started so what i now did was that because when the guy when the agents were calling me again i was frustrated i didn't know what to do like i could not even cry because i was trying to reach out to my um the program chair of my um, of the program i'm going to study in canada and i was supposed to have a class today so i didn't even get like a notification on to log into whatever the online class and start my classes it was really like past it can um alberta time see see if it frustrate like i don't pray for anyone to resume late to have flight issues to it's exhausting it's overwhelming so next thing that happened was that i my sister and i started speaking with the agent and the whole issue just became so somehow so i had to you know we had to like um contact travel better check for flight on travel better online and we saw a flight so we booked the flight so now i'm on my way to hilton transcope to go and pay for the ticket so the ticket is about i don't want to talk about it i'm leaving on the 18th which is on sunday september i'm making this video on the what is this the beginning i'm making this today is 12th i'm making this video on the 12th of september and i'm booking i'm um, i booked my ticket for 18th of september guys in the comment section just guess how much i paid for this i'm going to pay for this ticket right now guess how much i paid for my flight to get to canada because it's <laughs> i want to use it but it's freaking expensive so right now my boat is already outside so let's go to youtube together and buy the ticket shall we hello guys it is me it is agazi i'm back here today is the um, 13th of september yesterday i went to buy my ticket so today um i'll be going to the market with my sister to buy a few things like jeans um winter jackets boots like and 
um, some food stuff, sha. So we're going to be completing our market runs today. So we're going to the market right now. My, me and my sister are going to the market right now, and um, I'm so tired. I'm so tired. I didn't sleep. <laughs> I've not had a good sleep. Like yesterday, I slept so late. I slept like. I think it was around 3 a.m. and I woke up around 6 30. I'm no past six to do my morning devotion. So right now we're going to the market and yeah, if you see me outside, sorry, I'm wearing color right, right now. I don't even care about what I'm wearing. I just want to get everything sorted out and make I know that I'm already I'm already ready to. guys so today what's the day today is 14th or 15th i can't even remember i've lost track of time because of how busy i've been so today i'll be going to the hospital to request to do my eye test so i'll be able to get a new glasses i, I would like to get um the blue cuts and photochromic lens because this one when i read when i read with my glasses or use the system or use my phone or any light screen light from screen television it makes my eyes turn red so i would like to get something that will give my eyes more protection so i already have an appointment with my ophthalmologist in the hospital so i'll be going there now to do my eye test get new glasses Hey guys, so this is the next day. I'm heading to the salon to get my hair braided. My brother lives in Lube, so I had to go all the way from my house to Lube to get my hair braided because she's so good. This is me helping her to braid the hair because I needed to get off this chair because I had other things to do and other places to go to. This is the braid here. I shuffled like four or five different colors of attachments. Hey guys, so I'm home now. I've finished making the hair. The hair looks good. It looks very good. I like it. I also like the size. Something that will last and it's really, really long. Like, it's pretty long. So, this is going to be till further notice. I'm not going to be braiding my hair like for a very long time. So, take me as I am. I also like the color I chose. I used about four different colors. So, different shades of red ginger and the um the bright red i used the honey blonde and i also used um bright blonde i don't know what that blonde is called but yeah that was how i achieved this look see all my clothes like these are the ones i'm going to travel with too. see see how big they are my sister is here <laughs> she's measuring She's measuring the clothes. <laughs> She's putting it on her skin to measure it. The ones I'm giving out. The ones I'm giving out. The ones I'm giving out. <laughs> See, this one's too. Those are plenty. Hope, oh, 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 oh. If you want clothes, come to my house. I have everything for everybody. <laughs> Hey guys, I finished packing not long ago. My sisters helped me to do my packing. We weighed each item that entered the box. Can you see my luggage? Can you see my luggage? I'm going to carry two extra luggage. <laughs> it's funny, right? You three can say something. Or you guys should come and say bye to your auntie. Bye. Chia Luca, if you don't want to say that, please don't call me. Bye. That you will miss me. Also, let's cry in my video. Esther, <laughs> 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 please don't cry. You want to make me cry? Esther is crying. 
Esther, are you crying cry because now. of me? You are crying because of me. Esther, don't cry. Esther, don't cry. Yes. He's a VP. Why do you want to say? Yes. Say something. Just. Thank you. 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 for my own time so i know um where my boarding gate is and once i find um, my boarding gate and what the thing is still coming up my, my next connecting flight is by 12 30 so sorry i'm standing very long i'm so tired so by 12 30 so um i'm waiting for my next connecting flight so i'm waiting for it to load so this yes they're only showing 10 10 or 10 15 so once they show sorry they're only showing um 12 10 so when they shoot off 30 i'll know where my boarding gate is because it's never written on my boarding pass so i have to sit down here which i've been sitting down here since we landed that was like almost three hours and i have seven hours layover if you are traveling just carry bones or bread inside your bag so you got that hunger you see that food is serving the plane eh that food says never believe food. If they give you like five plates of that food, that would still be full. So if you're trying to just carry chin chin buns, bread, something you know, that can hold you like or carry abado or cassava. <laughs> I'm not joking, like carry something that you know that you will not die of hunger. If not, I go go child. So before my um, flight, before my, um, if I see my body in kit, before it loads, let me not give people so much. So I travel with, <laughs> I travel with five bags. <laughs> I traveled with five bags. So my hand luggage was supposed to be my shoes, right? I got to the airport, I found out that my hand luggage is 15 kg. Like, it's a lot. So they had to check it in. I had to pay for two extra 23, 23 kg. I had to pay for two extra 23, 23 kg. I paid about 264,000. I even had to like tea because when they were telling me to like balance my luggage, I had to like give, um, okay, the clothes that I brought out, the shoes that I brought out. So the lady that kept it on one side, the, the lady that works with Lufthansa, she said, okay, um, you know now how Nigeria is no shades on Nigeria. She, she helps me. Let me just put it that way. She, <laughs> she helps me. She now said, blah, 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 blah. I can carry the bag if I want to carry it. So I now made the bag, my hand luggage. And that bag is inside the shop right. The things are inside the shop right bag. So shop right needs to run me my money for giving them international recognition. International adver um, adverts. Because this payment dollars. Not Canadian dollars or USD because whatever is it to carry shop right nylon from anybody that sees me know that this girl is coming from Nigeria because I'm carrying shop right bag. I'm carrying shop right bag as my hand luggage <laughs> and my backpack. Honestly, like I don't even care who, who is looking at me at the moment because what cares is my what I care about right now is my um my safety me arriving um early and saying not being so worn out that's what I care about right now so I'm waiting for my schedule to load and I'll head back to my boarding gate and um with my flights time and go to Calgary from Calgary I'll go to Edmonton so that is updates for now bye
let me show you people my bag like you guys will be so <laughs> you should not laugh at me here comes my bag see my bag Okay, so I've gotten to Edmonton um, International Airport. This is like my final stop. So I'm waiting for my sister's friend to come and pick me up. So from there, I will now go to Wetaskiwin, which is where my campus is. Um, so I'm waiting for him. He said he's going to be here. This is already 7.46. So he should be here by, say, 8.07. So he said he was going to take him to 7 minutes drive from his house. So... <laughs> So waiting for him. Yeah, this this is my load. I have five bags. I'm, like who travels with five bags from Nigeria? It's not Agosi. So I waiting for him to come here. I'm so cold. It's not like extremely. Let me check the temperature. It's not like extremely cold at the moment. It's just that breeze, that cold breeze. Um, outside I'm not extremely cold. Just I have flu already. Yeah. So yeah, progress report. I arrived at Edmonton safe. Nothing happened to me, but I'm so hungry and tired because the food they served there on the plane, Jesus, nonsense food. Like that food was not sweet. Especially the my last meal it was horrible. So I'll let you guys know when I get to what I'm scared with. All right, bye. Hey guys. So Tagazi <coughs> here. Good morning. So um, today is 20th of September. 2022 um i'll be heading out today to go and do a couple of things like buy a sim card open an account apply for my sin go to my school like find where my school location is and yeah that's basically it so i'll be going out with a friend to go check that out i may not be vlogging but i don't know because I'll be doing serious things this so I may not vlog that. So, yeah, this is the one in Canada. Like, it still feels so unreal that I'm in this country. Like, it still feels like, I don't know. Is this still real? Like, I need someone to like slap me, like, slap, slap me back into reality. Like, slap. Am I dreaming? I dream I did dream. Yeah, but that's just it. So after that, I'm going to come back home and give you guys an update of how things smell. So see, I'm wearing the sweater, moth black because it's cold. It's about 14 degrees. Then mommy jeans and I'm wearing this sneakers here. Yeah, sure. Let's go. Cool.